This week marks the start of the 52nd Annual Congressional Black Caucus Legislative Congress. It's a gathering of prominent leaders, policymakers, and community members discussing solutions for progress and equity. Senator Reverend Raphael Warnock of Georgia is an honorary co-chair of the conference. He joins us now from Washington, D.C. Thanks so much for being with us. It is good to see you. Great to be here with you. So the conference is underway now. One of the big topics is gun control. You were a part of a panel there. Tell us a little bit about this. You're right. We are in the midst of an amazing conference. Uh, it is the 52nd annual conference for the Congressional Black Caucus Foundation. And uh, some 5,000 participants uh, have made their way already to the convention center. We're dealing with everything from the cost of prescription drugs, to civil rights, human rights, voting rights, reproductive rights, and absolutely we're talking about the issue of gun violence. Uh, there's no more important issue for those of us who serve in public office than to ensure that people are safe. And so I was proud to host uh, a panel discussion a couple of days ago. Uh, it featured uh, my colleague, Congresswoman Lucy McBath, who tragically lost her own son to senseless uh, gun violence that was racially motivated, but also Quavo, who is an important uh, voice in the hip hop community, uh, who's experienced loss in recent months. The good news is that they are transforming their pain into power and uplifting uh, the importance of, of dealing with this issue in our country. We, don't, we can do better than this. We've had more mass shootings this year than we've had days this year. And that doesn't even count the ordinary or, or the, the tragic everyday violence that happens in our community. And uh, it is a solutions-based conversation. And Senator, some of the other issues that are being discussed are protecting voters' rights and local elections. How concerned are you? Oh, I'm very concerned. Listen, voting rights is something I talk about all the time. And here's why. I, I don't think that voting rights is just another issue alongside the many issues that we deal with in the Congress and in our government. When you talk about voting rights, you're talking about the democracy itself. You're talking about the framework in which we get to argue and fight and debate and have the kind of rambunctious conversations that we have in the U.S. And at the end of the day, uh, the people get to speak, one person, one vote. Well, we witnessed the most violent attack on our capital since the War of 1812 on January 6th. And what happened after that is that that violent attack against people's voices, against the nonviolent and peaceful transfer of power, then metastasized into voter suppression uh, bills, hundreds of them, uh, all across the body politic. And so what we've got to do is we've got to pass the Freedom to Vote Act, which I introduced uh, earlier this year, and we also have to pass the John Lewis uh, Voting Rights Advancement Act. Nothing could be more important. Senator, we are ramping up into another presidential election year. You know, Georgia was the center of so much controversy in the last presidential election. What's being done to make sure there's not a repeat of that in this next election? Well, I'm very proud of the people of Georgia. Uh, they stood up in an amazing way. Uh, my life is a testament to the power of our democracy, which is why I fight for it so much. Uh, Georgia sent its first African-American senator, its first Jewish senator to the United States Senate. And uh, it's because the people stood up in spite of the attacks on their voices. When I entered into my runoff this time, uh, there were Georgia officials at the state level who uh, apparently saw my victory the last time and they said that the people couldn't vote the first Saturday of the runoff, citing some Georgia law, which they had clearly misread. They said their hands were tied. And so I untied their hands. I sued them. We won. They appealed. We won again. They appealed again. We won again. The people got to use their voices. And so it's important that we, uh, as this conference uh, theme says, we have to secure our democracy. We have to protect our freedoms, including the right to vote, uh, reproductive rights, human rights, civil rights. And then we have to uplift the culture. Uh, this is the 50th anniversary of hip hop. Uh, I'm a kid who grew up in the 70s, 80s, and 90s, uh, listening to these modern day griots uh, who speak to the conditions of our situation uh, and inspire hope 
and, and the lively conversation that ought to happen in a country. All right, Senator Raphael Warnock, thank you so much for being thank with us you. today. Thank you, it's good to see you. Great to be with you. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.